Chicago, the note sat on the back of Tracy Bradley's couch when she returned home from work late that morning. Written by her 10-year-old daughter, Tionda, the note said she and Diamond, her three-year-old sister, had run by the store and to a park on Chicago's south side. But something was off about the note. Everything, the spelling, the grammar, was too perfect for a girl attending summer school to improve her reading and writing. It was also unlike Tionda to leave a note. Even if the girls had left the apartment, Tionda would have called her mom's cell phone. The Bradley sisters were gone. 20 years ago this summer, Chicago launched what investigators say may be the city's largest missing persons investigation to date. The police superintendent ordered the city turned upside down to find them. Over the course of months, nearly every abandoned building in Chicago, some 5,300 of them, was mapped and searched. Sewers, dumpsters, forests, lakes and rivers were dredged and scoured. More than 100 sex offenders were interviewed, and about 42 tons of garbage was picked over by law enforcement, including new police recruits. Everyone was on duty. In the hunt for the girls, leads took investigators and journalists across the country, even to Morocco, chasing possible sightings, psychics visions and fraud, with enough tips to fill 25 filing cabinets. But as the time stretched to weeks, months and years, no sign of the girls has ever turned up. It was an odd case to catch the city's attention. Two young black girls had gone missing from a high crime and impoverished area of Chicago. Often when young black children are missing, authorities write them off as runaways, and their cases are unlikely to grab high-profile investigator and media attention, according to investigators and missing persons experts and organizations. So when the Chicago police initially labeled the Bradley girls' case as missing, not abducted, the family was irate. The case was immediately reclassified as missing, endangered, as it remains now. I didn't want the community to overlook it like, oh, it's two kids who ran away, Sheila Bradley Smith, the girl's great aunt, told USA Today. No, these kids were taken. Black children, then as now, are reported missing more often than children of other races. More than 300,000 juveniles are reported missing in the US every year, and while Census Bureau data suggests black kids make up just 16% of the population under 18, more than 36% of missing juveniles in 2020 were black, the latest FBI data shows. For the Bradley sisters, pressure from family members, along with the girls' ages, changed the narrative. What could have been a short mention on the evening news was soon leading the front pages of city papers and making national news and crime shows. With each airing of the story, more tips would come in. Some leads seemed promising. Some still do.